welcome back to my channel. I am Imuna Zamani, and I am sitting in Second Life in my brand new Linden home, which I love so much. Uh, my last video about the Linden homes, I was trying to do the tiny living thing, and I just couldn't do it. So um, these Victorian style homes came about, and what I really appreciate about them is that from the mailbox, you can change the type of home that you're in because I didn't want to do a two story. So they have one that is a um, one level and I really love it. So um, I'm going to be working on a video showing you guys around once I get it decorated. I'm currently in my recording room um, behind me or my avatar. You see some photos that I have up that make me happy. You guys have been asking me about things that I'm wearing and different pieces of furniture so i'm going to um, list them in my comments someone asked me about my thumb rings they are from real evil i'll put a link um to their probably their facebook and maybe even a link to a landmark of where they are in second life the earrings and the necklace are from e marie um, it's the princess set i got it in gold they're at an event. I'll put a link to that too. The sweatshirt and the pencil skirt are from Trebla. They are also at an event to wear. I think some of their stuff is like, um, God, I want to say up until January, like, I, God, I don't want to say this wrong, but I think it's either 25 or 50% off. But I'll put a link. I am not a blogger, guys. I go to these blog sites just like you to find outfits, and um, that's not what I do, so I don't always remember, but definitely if you hit me up in World or on Facebook or even under the comments of my videos, I will tell you because I love to share. Okay, on to the reason for this video. What I'm bringing up might be a sore spot with some people, and this is actually a help me type of video because I think that I may be failing at um, social media etiquette. And it started where I really thought about it. Um, some of you know that I have a grandson. He will be seven months this week. Um, but when he was born, um, my people knew on my real life Facebook page and my daughter and I are connected and people were congratulating me on my grandson because I posted a picture of him and her. Um, he was just hours old and I said something to the effect of, you know, what a blessing to see my baby holding her baby. So um, I guess I got a lot of likes on it and stuff like that. And my daughter, who ended up having to have an emergency cesarean, just like her mother, um, she starts yelling at me. She's like, oh, I can't believe you are not thanking these people. I'm like, what people? She's like, everybody that's leaving comments underneath the birth of the baby. I'm like, well, what am I supposed to do? She's like, oh my God, I got to do everything. So I just took it as her, you know, her hormones are all, you know, over the place because she knows I will choke her. So she goes under my Facebook and starts thanking people and blah, blah, blah. But on the other end, people that sent gifts for her, like people that I know that she doesn't necessarily know, like my um, coworkers, she was like, oh, well, tell them thank you. No, sis, you should have gotten out some of my thank you cards and did a personal card. So I, I kind of like maybe... Maybe I am lacking in social media etiquette or something like that, but I let it go. Okay, here is where we bring in the virtual, the virtual part of this. I get a message. So it starts off with, good morning. You don't know me, but I am the RL. And RL is real life for those of you who are you know, not really in the virtual setting of blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, oh, okay. You know, I'm like, oh my God, I hope nothing happened to them. So she goes, um, I'm not in SL that much, but we do come into um, Second Life sometime. So at this point, I mean, she's doing that 
she'll say a sentence, hit enter, say a sentence, hit enter. So I'm not saying anything because I'm just waiting for all the stuff to get to a point where I can understand what this is about. She goes, I would appreciate it if you would remove photos of said person and you um, from your Facebook page. And I'm just like stuck. I'm like, wait, what? At first, I didn't even know I had photos in Facebook of the two of us because it, it, um, it wasn't a very public type of thing. So I go scrambling and sure enough, there are a couple there. So I, I started to remove them only because she said, you know, real life. And then I thought about it. First of all, I'm not connected to that person in real life. What happened in SL was the past. And we it, it ended very cordially or whatever. We had different things going on. And um, it, it, it's, it's memories that... I, I didn't even, I don't go back and look at them. And I'm sure people go through my photos. That's how you, you know, get to know people or if you're just being nosy or whatever. But what I did was I said, you know, congratulations on your, you know, marriage or whatever. I had no idea because I haven't spoken to said person in such a long time. And I was like, um, to be honest, I didn't know that I had photos of us on my Facebook page. And they're they're nothing more than memories. And I said, I I don't know you. I said, I appreciate you coming to me respectfully as you did. But here's the thing. If so-and-so wants me to remove them, they can ask me and I'll do it. So my question is, am, am I wrong? do you, am I lacking like an online or even social media um, type of respect or am I missing some type of etiquette? I don't know. So that's my question because um, I plan on doing a lot more things with social media as you guys see. And that's another thing. If you guys haven't already, um, I have a page it's called Virtual Lifestyle with Imun and Zimani. It's on Facebook. I'll put the link. If you guys would go ahead and like that for me, I would really appreciate it. But, you know, I'm trying to do more um, because people, some people seem to like the content that I put out. But I don't want to offend anybody. So um, that's my question to you guys. Do you, when you're dating someone, do you require them you know anyone they've dealt with in the past to remove photos of them it just doesn't bother me at all like if I I don't go snooping through anyone's photos I do look at some photos but if I saw someone that I was currently dating and some photos with an ex or whatever it just wouldn't bother me but you know we're all not the same so um yeah that's my question for you guys so um, please, even if you want to hit me up, you know, you don't want to put anything, um, on the comments of this video and you want to hit me up, you know, on the side, I would appreciate it because maybe I am lacking some type of etiquette. I don't know. And then if I am, what kind of class do I go to? <laughs> or is there a book? Is there a website? I don't know. Okay, guys, have a fantastic day. It's Sunday. Uh, December the 22nd. It is raining here in Florida. It's been raining since yesterday, so I know it's going to get cold. Um, But I'm home, snuggled up in my house with my socks on and my blanket, and I'm having a great time editing these videos. So thank you so much for your time, and I will see you in the next video.